Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 5th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day Simplicity A willingness to do whatever I was told to do simplified the program for me. Study the AA book, don't just read it. They told me to go to meetings, and I still do at every available opportunity, whether I am at home or in some other city. Attending meetings has never been a chore for me, nor have I attended them with the feeling of just doing my duty. Meetings are both relaxing and refreshing to me after a hard day. They said, get active, so I helped whenever I could, and still do. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 381. Thought to Consider The ankle biters of everyday struggles will eat away at me unless I go to meetings and call my sponsor. AA Acronyms Action A-C-T-I-O-N Any change toward improving one's nature. Just for today, steps from The Three Legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. It might be a long time before readers of the book in distant places and lands could be personally contacted. Therefore, our literature would have to be as clear and comprehensive as possible. Our steps would have to be more explicit. There must not be a single loophole through which the rationalizing alcoholic could wiggle out. Finally, I, Bill W., started to write. I set out to draft more than six steps. How many more, I did not know. I relaxed and asked for guidance. With the speed that was astonishing, considering my jangling emotions, I completed the first draft. It took perhaps half an hour. The words kept right on coming. When I reached a stopping point, I numbered the new steps. They added up to twelve. Alcoholics Anonymous Comes of Age, page 161. Daily Reflections, A New Direction. Our human resources, as marshaled by the will, were not sufficient. They failed utterly. Every day is a day when we must carry the vision of God's will into all our activities. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 45 and 85. I hear talk of the weak-willed alcoholic, but I am one of the strongest-willed people on earth. I now know that my incredible strength of will is not enough to save my life. My problem is not one of weakness, but rather of direction. When I, without falsely diminishing myself, accept my honest limitations and turn to God's guidance, my worst faults become my greatest assets. My strong will, rightly directed, keeps me working until the promises of the program become my daily reality. Copyright 1990, Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. As Bill sees it, the only requirement. In Tradition 3, AA is really saying to every serious drinker, you are an AA member if you say so. You can declare yourself in. Nobody can keep you out. No matter how low you've gone, no matter how grave your emotional complications, even your crimes, we don't want to keep you out. We just want to be sure that you get the same chance for sobriety that we've had. 12 and 12, page 139. We do not wish to deny anyone his chance to recover from alcoholism. We wish to be just as inclusive as we can never exclusive. Grapevine, August 1946. Big book quote. Those having religious affiliations will find nothing disturbing to their beliefs or ceremonies. There is no friction among us over such matters. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. There is a solution. Page 28. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. 
Until we came into AA, most of us had tried desperately to stop drinking. We were filled with the delusion that we could drink like our friends. We tried time and again to take it or leave it, but we could do neither. We always lapsed into ceaseless, unhappy drinking. Families, friends, and employers threw up their hands in hurt bewilderment, in despair, and finally in disgust. We wanted to stop. We realized that every reason for drinking was only a crazy excuse. Have I given up every excuse for drinking? Meditation for the day. Many things can upset you, and you can easily get off the track. But remember that God is near you all the time, ready to help you if you call on him. You cannot forever stand against God's will for you, nor can you forever upset God's plan for your life, even though God's plan may be postponed by your willfulness and deliberate choice of evil. A whole world of men and women cannot permanently change God's laws nor his purpose for the universe. The sea of life may look very rough to us, but we can believe that our captain steers the boat on a straight course. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may try to steer a straight course. I pray that I may accept God's direction in my life's journey. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah. I'm an alcoholic, and I'm grateful to have the opportunity to read for you today. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, or 2001.